Yeah, greetings of the day. On this day, in this video, we are going to learn the installation steps of Dev C++. This ID is used to execute the C-related programs or C++ programs that are part of our curriculum. So, in order to do that, we need to open the browser first. In your system, you may be having Google Chrome or Mozilla or Firefox or any other browser. Open that. In my case, I am opening that is my Mozilla Firefox. Then in the URL, you need to type google.com. And once the page is loaded, you can type in the search bar of Google that is dev. C++ download Windows 10 or any Windows operating system. If you are using Linux operating system, then you need not install Dev C++ directly. You will be having a terminal where you can compile and execute the programs. Now this video is explicitly made for Windows operating system. Now you are having these many alternates where you can download the Dev C++ ID. Now click on any one of the link. In my case, I'm clicking on this Dev C++ download hyperlink. Once the page is loaded, that is Softonic, here you can see the page is getting buffered, free download. Once you will get a download link over here, you can click on that. Now just click on this arrow. Your download option must come let us wait the page to load that dialog box now again it is asking to click on the download button now in this case again let us click on this download button now it's starting the download option we will be getting a dialog box of download So here we got the pop-up, so click on save file on the download button, your download must start. Once your download is complete, go to the downloads folder of Windows operating system. Now here you can see Dev C++ 5.1 or whatever, maybe the latest version, you will be getting that. Double click on that. The installation step starts from here. Maybe asking you to allow the app to install. Just click on yes then the installation steps must start. Now here it is, it has started its process. And backing the data, once it completes to 100%, we'll be getting a dialog box. Please select the language, select English, click on OK. Then license agreement, click on agree. Then see the all the options are checked. Then click on next. Choose the installation location. By default, it is going to select the C drive. If you wish, you can have the D drive also or any other drive. Preferably, let us keep the destination folder to be a default one. Let us click on install. Then it is going to take a little bit of time to install all the packages.
it may take a couple of minutes to 10 minutes depending on the processor and its speed then once we got completed click on the finish button this ends the installation of dev then it is going to open a dialog box where you will be having a run dev c++ click on it click on the finish button or you will be having the dev c++ on the desktop on the desktop you can click either on that now you'll be getting a dialog box like this dev c++ first time configuration page will be loaded select the english original language then click on the next button next button then you're having console just let it be as it is click on the next then click on ok then you will be getting the dev c++ for the first time it will be something like this environment will be there now this is the integrated development environment now what you have to do here is just concentrate here at the left hand side you are having file edit and many other menu options are there click on file then new then project this is one way or directly you can click on this particular button that is new project let us go with the new project then you'll be getting a dialog box now on this dialog box you will be having an option called as console click on that then click on the c project because we are working on c programs select the c project option if you wish you can give the name of the program or let or keep it as project one then click on the ok button then it is going to ask you for saving the program let us create a folder and save it or let us go to a particular drive i'm clicking on the pc then you will be getting the list of folder drives or folders this pc then select a particular drive i'm selecting d drive then click on new folder for the first time you can do this here we are having new folder click on that then here new folder is created just rename it my programs you can give any name it's up to you double click it then give a file name appropriate to the program or keep it like project one click on save button then you'll be getting the screen like this just let me increase the font size properties no font size here okay not an issue so you will be getting for the first time like this hash include stdo.h stdlib.h etc just forget just try to press enter then type printf hello there you can type your name too not an issue whatever you type it has to display as it is then click on semicolon then click on execute then click on compile and run execute click on execute compile and run then it is going to ask you for the saving option again just try to save it let us keep it like main save it Then it started processing 
if you get any errors it is going to display our the bottom of the pane or a dialog box will be open like this and whatever the message you type here hello there is displayed if you write your name your name name will be displayed okay so this represents that our installation is successful just click on enter or you can click on the close button that's it in this video we have seen how to install dev c++ from later phases you can open dev c++ from the desktop on the desktop you'll be having a logo that is icon click on that you will be getting this environment back you can see here on the topmost we are having dev c++ that's it in this video all the best for installing the software